Hello, everyone. It's wonderful to be here. I am Hannah Donovan, and I am the founder and CEO of a new video company called Trash. We are a creative tool, and we do predictive editing for video using AI, which means that you shoot or collect video, and we do the editing. I'm going to give you a demo of how it works in just a minute, but before I get there, I want to build on something that we heard about earlier today, which is the importance of video remix, because we are so excited to be here today working with the Internet Archive to make it easy for folks like you to take video footage from the public domain and play with it and edit it on your phone with one tap. So like many of you here, I grew up in a remix-first world, and video culture looks a little bit something like this. I didn't come here to make friends. I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to make friends. I ain't here to make no friends. You used to call me on my cell phone late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone late night when you need my love. I'm horny with half. Horny with five. Horny with five. Horny with five. Horny with five. Quart, 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 quarter. Horny with five. I take the moon, but the morning I see the bit of horny half. I'm horny with half, but the morning I'm quarter half. I'm gonna horny with five. Horny with five. I'm gonna play with the morning quarter, quarter five. This is America. So, those are some of the favorite video remixes and mashups from my team back in New York. And as you can see, this stuff is super fun. This is the video culture that's around us. But there's a problem, which is that a lot of this stuff is actually kind of very difficult to make because creators kind of have to download it, do it on desktop, re-upload it again, takes, gets taken down. And it's also not often sanctioned by these consumer platforms that we use for video, especially when it comes to attribution, which is really important for creators. And so this is what we're building with Trash, a remix-first video editing app because one person's trash is another person's treasure when it comes to remixing video. So I want to start by asking with a quick show of hands, who here in this room today has ever tried editing video? Put your hand up. That's a lot of you. OK, cool. Now keep your hand up. Wait, 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 don't go away. Keep your hand up if it was hard. Yep, yeah, yeah, the art of video editing is really difficult. Now keep your hand up if you'd wish that you'd shot more or different footage when you got to the editing stage. Exactly. So you can put your hands down. Thank you for that. Um, we're all awake now, right, just after lunch. Um, so this is, these are the two problems that we're solving with Trash. One, let's make it really easy for you to edit videos and do fun stuff like that. And number two, let's also make sure that you have what it's called coverage in video editing terms. Coverage just means having lots of stuff to play with. It's often the inspiration for documentary filmmaking, for montage, definitely for video memes. I mean, hell, it's what means, you know, like taking an auctioneer and putting it with like a hip hop concert makes it funny. That's coverage. This is what we're doing with Trash. So now I'm going to give you a quick demo on how this works. Um, so. All right, uh, here is some video that I shot at a, con at a concert uh, at a show in New York a couple of months ago. And as you can see here, you know, this is like a clip, you know, I probably wouldn't just put that clip on the internet, but if I can take a few different clips here, this is inside the Trash app, and throw them together, what's going to happen is when I press that button up there in the top right, Trash is going to take these clips of video from this show and it's going to try and edit them together for me right off the bat and make what we call in video terms a rough cut so that then I can go in and like do the fun stuff and tweak it and like maybe change the soundtrack and like the filter as people call it, you know, that kind of thing. When they, the LUT, you know, um, for those in the audience. And so let's uh, go ahead and hit that button and see what it makes with this footage from that show, okay?
So not bad, right? It took all that footage, it edited it together, put a nice soundtrack on it, and already we have something with one tap that is like a lot better than usually what it would take me to do in like 20 minutes on my computer. But I think we could make this video cooler, actually. So what I'm gonna do now is let's imagine that I went to the Internet Archives account on Trash and I grabbed some of the public domain video there and this time what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sample that and mix it into this video. So I'm gonna throw all that footage together, hit that button again and let's see what it makes this time. You know, who doesn't love those high-waisted pants with a good techno beat, right? <laughs> so this is what we're doing. It's all fun. Um, Trash is going to be rolling out in beta over the coming months. So if you want to play with it, sign up for early access at our website, which is trash.app. And we will make sure that you get a beta invite. Um, it's free. It's really fun to use. And most importantly, it gives you very easy editing tools for all of this incredible public domain footage. Thank you so much.